Welcome back to another episode of Aru's Adventures of our Shark Bay series number two. We just woke up on our second day. We've got our rod and our and our drink. So those things about 6:30 in the morning, and uh, it is dead calm out there and very overcast, which is concerning and very dark clouds on the horizon. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up here. It's dead calm, so I'm going to flick some lures out for Taylor. See what's out there. See what we can catch. Everyone's still in bed. So this is our last day here at uh, Bottle Bay. Um, because the track's really bad in, we're going to head out with the boys as well. So we've got a bit more of a convoy going. And then uh, we're going to go into town, top up. Alright, no luck with the tarlow fishing. Um, just keep getting snagged up. So we'll leave that a bit. Leave that now. We might go back to camp, cook up some feed, and uh, head back out to that point, spending the day there. Come back in the afternoon and do a slow pack up ready for tomorrow. So. Nice fingernails too, Jaden. That's why you won the video, didn't you? <laughs> Sounds good. Hey! Oh, Go on, Nah. I'll pop it. It's still calm out here. Alright, we're just oh, waiting. We're just down. waiting for the high tide so they're going down to the beach and kicking the footy. Downwind. Oh. You got this none that here. <laughs> You're geared up there, Craig. Chasing some wine, you know. Boys are having a morning fish by camp. You having a fish, Jaden? Yeah. Even Dad's got his rod out. I'm gonna go feed him. Oh, the red little coddy. Come out. Look at that, Craig. That's a nice size little water, that one. Yeah. All right, so we're just back at camp. All the boys are still fishing down at the uh, beach, just by the camp here. And uh, as you saw, we caught a little cod, a little whiting we caught. And um, we're just buying time for the high tide so we can drive up to the point again and fish on that spot. Absolutely good spot. Um, there's a reason why I call it the supermarket because you just catch all different species there and uh, yes you're, you're gonna lose some snags but you've got to go into the hard spots to get the fish so Bottle Bay has plenty of camping grounds here there's three um, camping loops ABC you can only have generators in B and C why I'm not too sure but there must be a reason for it um, in loop A you cannot have generators, so not too sure why, but um, just follow the rules. If you've got a generator, just camp in B and C, but I'm heading back to the boys. Let's see if they caught any more fish and uh, just relax. See you soon. Here we go, Dad just caught a fish here. What is it? Really? Apparently dad's got a stone fish, one of the poisonous fish out there. Do not step. Do not step on this one. 
Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen one. Is it? I've, first time I've ever seen one live. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, I've seen one live. Very venomous. What about another one? Get away from your fucking footy. Yeah, they'll yeah. Good old stonefish. Yeah. Well, here we go, Lordy. Your fucking old man always caught me caught an animal, doesn't he? Yeah, thinking big in there. Oh. I get that one, Ben. You see him at the aquarium, but you don't see him in like live. Nah. Right, right. Something went past those. Oof. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone caught any fish? I put a crab on there. I've got a big hit. What's this thing doing here? Just being friendly. Alright, just come to the time. We're in the car. Well, I am in the car by myself. Um, the other three boys are going to head out in the boat. They're going to meet me there at the spot. Let's head on the tracks, mate. Let's go. Look how nice this little bay is here. Absolute perfect. Once this wind's coming from the south east, so yeah, it's quite so calm here. We're a little bit protected with the uh, wind, so. This is the, one of the reasons why we fish up this end. Majority of the wind comes from the south, the southwest, southeast. So we've got protection behind us. Where else would you rather be? Have a look at this. Look at that big rock cliff up there. Pitch red dirt. Where else would you want to be? On a little sandbar here, we're gonna climb up on here all the way around and keep going all the way till I get to the spot that we were yesterday. But oh, whew, should it work out? I love look at that. So these all these rocks here have all fallen off that cliff eventually. All the way around. So all these rocks were eventually up there. So if you're just gonna be a little bit careful. They could drop any time. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, you got there, Harley? Sea perch? Yeah, a little strawberry. A little sea perch. What we caught yesterday. Oh, Hayden's over there catching crabs for our live bait. There we go. Nice little pinky. Just changed spots. The boys are over there. Looks like Harley's on. And I just caught a pinky straight off that rock there. Harley's got a fish down there too. Alright, we've been here for about half an hour now. And I've lost two rigs. So I'm trying another um, rig just to try and not get snagged in those reef and rocks. So far so good, but hopefully we can get a few bites. It's going a bit quiet now. But uh, the boys are still down there. Hayden's on his way back from over there. And the gear's there. And I'm fishing on that rock. The boys have caught a few back down there, but I can't get to them because it's too, far, too hard on rocks. But uh, it's not windy yet, so it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It will pick up though eventually, but check this big rock cliff there, look at that. Well, the wind's picked up very strongly. Um, the boys have caught a couple other little fish, but they're not size. I think we've lost about a hundred bucks worth of gear. It's probably better off going to the bloody uh, fish fish store to buy some fish, I think. But I love this place. We all love this place. That's why we all keep, keep coming here. And. Uh, you, you put the good with the bad. All right, it has got absolutely windy. It is stupid windy. The boys have got to head back in a tinny yet. So they've hiked it to the tinny. And it's gonna be a slow bumpy ride for them. I'll show you when I get there. I'm trying to get out of here. 
I'm gonna try and hide on the other side. So it's gonna be a very whoop, bumpy ride for the boys. Oh, I can see him. Oh, tell you what, these rocks. Oh, here they are. Cheers out. Good luck, boys. I wish you the very best. There's the boys out there. They are getting smashed with the wind. Whoo! Rest of the boys are up there waiting for me. All right, let's keep hiking, eh? All right, we just uh, walked back to the car, topped all the gear up and walked back down to the beach. And uh, it's very calm here. They're going to try and target some whiting, but that's too small. So we'll throw him back. Look how calm the water is here. Um, we were we were around that side, but as you can see out the water out there, it's choppy as. So coming in this bay, you've got this massive ward protection. So look how calm that is. So we'll fish here for a couple of hours. Wait, there you go. Nice size whiting. He's good size. So, uh, we'll just keep going. Whiting number two. Ew. There you go. A little fish. No good eating. We're just on the rock bank. We were down there. Now we're at the entrance on where Cape Heron is. Just on the rock bed here and uh, nice and deep so there's a few little bites there you go i've been here for about half an hour and i've caught about 10 of these and i don't want them so they can go back in the water back in the water i think it's time to head home and uh head back to camp see what the boys are doing all right so we just Put everything back to the car. We're just gonna look at the uh, Cape Peron. So you got the uh, barbecue and picnic facilities there. Got a few extra signs up here. I'm pretty sure you can walk over the hill and see the point. This one looks fairly new. I'm not gonna pronounce that word, but. We'll just go to the cliff at the top, see the view, and uh, we'll head back to the car. Gee, what a view. We're very high here. There's the washing machine out there. Look at that. That's where we've been fishing on that point the last couple of days. Beautiful spot this is. So on the denim part of the island for land, this is far as you can go. It's called Cape Peron. So this is dangerous here, so you can walk here and there's a cliff just there. So you don't want to fall down that. 
we come around here, I'm pretty sure there's a beach over this side. There you go. Nice big beach for the birds. We got Jade on the dinner duty tonight. Jade, what are we doing? Yeah, I'm doing the world famous potato bay. Potato bay. And you got your apprentice here? I think so. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, we'll see what the finished product is later, Jade. Yeah, yeah, you'll be surprised. It better be good. It will be. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Well, hang on. laughs> <laughs> Hey? Alright, uh, sudden fried chicken tonight, mate. Well, we need to generally prepare these fillets. But how are you going to work this out there? Put one in each. Okay. Right, yeah. you, you do these two. How's it going, bro? Yeah. You got faith in that? Oh, yeah. We'll see the final product shortly. Alright. As you saw there, Jaden, my brother, is uh, cooking a potato bait. So, That'll take probably another another half an hour. It's already been half an hour in the oven. Just doing a slow cook. I'm just out by the water, having a few beers. The boys are chatting by the by camp. And uh, this is our last night here at Bottle Bay. It hasn't been the prettiest weather. Um, the best weather was when we were driving up, but obviously our luck wasn't there, but so, tomorrow, with that rough track, the convoy will be Andy, Jaden, Harley, and myself. Um, so we can try and get out of there. Once we get past that spot, it'll be, it'll be smooth as. And then we're gonna head to the hot tub for a little bath, have that a shower for three days four days so it'd be good to have a shower so yeah once we uh get into town we'll do a bit of um a bit of shopping um fill up and then we'll uh my father and i will head down on south of denham to a nice little spot that we know should be good we'll let fires down there so we'll be able to sit by the fire and have a couple of couple of tins around the fire so I love my fires and that's what I really want, but up here, you're not allowed fires. It's a two grand fine if you have fires up here, so it's not the risk. Not worth tasting the, taking the risk and uh, getting penalised for it, so. What's happening over here, you three? Something going here. Cooking, mate. Graham Cale's cooking. Graham Cale. <laughs> Graham Cale. <laughs> Look like you. Oh, does he? Beat <laughs> some fried chicken. Northern fried chicken, we're in north. Oh, yeah, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> Southern fried chicken with what? what? What kind of sauce is that? There's no sauce, it's just butter to cook it in. Mm. And how's the uh, potato bake going? Uh, yep, yep, cooking application of heat is working. And it's done with the Great Northern. It's fairly windy. We got the table, Max Tracks, try cook our, our food. We got old Harley over here. Building a little castle. Cooking some stuff. Cooking some stuff. With uh, rissoles. Yeah. And these numb nuts over here. Yeah, right Smart fellas. Smart fellas. This is the bush style cooking, is it? Cartons wrapped around the fire. That's right. It's 
working. Working. This is how you cook in the outback. In the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and how's the uh, potato back in here? Good. There you check it. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. 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 It's losing this coating. Part. Coming along nicely. Yeah, don't this is outback much. cooking. Yeah. This is outback cooking for sure. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to see them how they're going to open the door for the oven. Oh, you can see it, but you can't open it. Well, you can. Thanks. Oh, look at that. It's made. Hey, okay. it's man made, that one. Thinking, <laughs> dancing, <laughs> romancing. Fucking no romance around here. <laughs> there you go. Finished product of the pot. Love street. Potato bait. Shark Bay style. Good morning. Day three. We are on the move. We've got the camp packed up all behind us. And we're all working together to try and get out of this boggy section. We've got the convoy there. They're just tightening the shackles and the straps between the leading car and the boat. We'll try and drag through. Here we go. Well, we managed to all get out, all get out of the tracks. Um, Harley's boat trailers has snapped a bolt coming out of that track there, unfortunately. So we're just trying to fix that on the side of the road. But uh, they all held up well, so let's see what they're doing. Where's it snapped? So the boys are headed home. We're at the homestead at Cape Peron. And uh, we're going for a hot bath. Aren't we, Dad? Yeah, looking forward to it. Clean this uh, shit office. Stay there for a little bit and then head into town, grab some food, and head out to our next camping spot. So we'll see you in the hot tub. Yeah. That's an old wool press. Yeah. There's the new ones. There they go. Still wool in here. Oh, yeah. Here's the wool room. Oh, Jesus. It's an old, isn't it? Here's the workbench. Here's the work area. All right, just had a little hot tub bath, nice and warm. Had a little shower. Now we're all fresh. Um, as you saw there, you saw the uh, sheep shearing shed that they used to do back in the day, and uh, how it works. Now we're going to head into town. So I'm going to leave this video here, and. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff smash the subscribe button hit that little like button and leave any comments below if you want to know anything about shark bay region or anything up in the cape peron please chuck the comments in below and i'm happy to answer them until then guys we'll see you in the next video see you soon stay safe Bye.